What's up car crew? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video. Today's video is in partnership with EbonyLine.com. Thank you so much to Ebony Line for sending me today's unit. Today's review is all about Vice Unit 8. No, yeah. Vice Unit 8. They have dropped so many of these units that I'm like confused as which one I got. Yeah, I got Vice Unit 8. They came out with 6, 7, and 8 recently and I got my hands on number 8. I picked it up in the color 2. So let's go ahead and open her up, see what she's giving, and then I'll do my makeup. You know, you know the drill. Before we get into this review, if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT, don't forget to subscribe, join the Core Crew family, and let's get into this wig. I am not new to the Vice unit collection i have reviewed vice unit 4 and also vice unit 5 so if you're interested in those units i will have them linked up in the cards or also have them in the description box i do have a full sensational playlist if you would like to watch that too if you are new to the vice unit collection i'm not new but if you are new let's go over the key features hd lace a pre-plucked hairline baby hair deeper hairline ear to ear five inch deep hand tight parting it comes in a number of specialty colors you guys know i picked up number two but it also comes in 613 chunky highlight 27 chunky highlight 30 chunky highlight blonde flamboyage blonde flamboyage chocolate flamboyage mocha and flamboyage sand that's all about the vice collections let's go ahead and open her up i'm super excited because this was the one i was actually interested in um seven and eight. Oh my gosh she's so long the hair hmm you know what it reminds me of zayla i just reviewed zayla from sensational it's like not yakky but it's this one's not super silky either you guys know i just like to try on the unit um before i put on makeup just to see what's given so in terms of cap construction it comes with a comb in the back an adjustable strap and then it also has two combs in the front so you guys can see that parting let's go ahead and try her on i don't know how long she is but she's given 30 inches on me Ooh. I mean, what's not to love? Um, she's giving. Her curls are really structured, but once I am done, like, laying it down, I would love to, like, make her go bigger because on the stock card, her curls are a little less structured and more, like, wavy. But this is really cute. I'm excited to install it. I, you know what? <laughs> My two most recent wig reviews have been, like, blondes. And now that I have on this color, I'm just like, who is she? But she's me. <laughs> like, I just am obsessed with blondes now. Like, I'm like, why do I have this dark hair on? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I'll be back um, once I am done putting my makeup on. I will come back to lay her down. So, stay tuned. Hey, y'all. So, I am back and I'm ready to install the Vice Unit 8. Usually, I would tell you all to check out my how to slay a synthetic wig video but today i think i'm going to do a glueless install so i'm going to give you guys the step by step for how i install my units when i install them glueless so first things first i did pluck this unit a little bit more in the hairline since i am going to be wearing it glueless and i also went in and tinted the lace with this even tinted lace spray everybody know about this but i usually will just go in with powder once i glue it down but since i'm wearing it glueless i do want it to be you know a little bit tinted so i use the color light warm brown next thing you need is a wig grip i prefer the actually this is the only wig grip that i've ever tried so i don't know about any others but i'm going to be using the wig fix by the renatural this is a transparent color they have different colors which is great so that you can pick the one that works best for you i like transparent I also have it in medium I believe but they have five colors to choose from so you can always pick the one that you like the most what I'm about to do is just go and cut the lace um, and then I'll be back to install this unit we used to roll at the ring we used to roll at the ring I used to talk way too much we used to know everything all right, you guys, so here's the final look of Miss Vice Unit 8 in the color 2. You all saw that I did install this glueless. I wasn't really feeling the middle part today, so I actually switched it and um, 
just shifted the unit because you all know that this is a um, fixed part so you can't really part it again so I just shifted it I just felt like it looked better as a side part let me get into my pros and my cons of Miss Vice Unit 8. So I always like to start with my cons so that we end on a positive note. I think that this unit definitely mats up a bit and it will mat with wear. I honestly do not see this as a everyday unit at all. More so a special occasion or a uh, photo shoot type of unit. I say that a lot about some units but... I really do think that if a unit um, is tangling or matting up as soon as like I'm filming the review, I know that it's something that could not withstand everyday wear. I would not put this in the everyday category, but it is really pretty and it serves a look. I also will note that it is pre-plucked, but in order to get like scalp realness, you will need to pluck this a little bit more. So I don't know if this is... um as beginner friendly as other units from the vice collection have been so i would honestly say out of all of the units that i've tried i would definitely recommend vice unit 4 as a unit that you can wear every day also is a very beginner friendly and super easy to lay down now for my pro my pros i really do like this style although the hair is um tangling a little bit it is really pretty i love when a unit has some sort of texture to it um i don't typically range for like the straight units i really like a curly unit so this one is giving me a look it is giving like vacay hair or let's go to the beach hair also really do like the lace because i was able to wear this glueless you guys know glue i could lift it up i could take it off snatch it off if i want to it's that good the fact that the lace has completely blended into my skin for a glueless install is amazing i typically do not do glueless installs so the fact that this looks like this i'm pretty impressed but i definitely think that me switching it to a side part definitely influenced um how great and melted down in the middle it just wasn't giving the same shush as like the side part i don't know final thought so as i said i think that this is a really pretty unit i think it looks pretty i do not think that it's an everyday unit i do not think that it is a must have at all i definitely think that it's great for the price it is around 30 dollars, so sweetie it is on the affordable side so you get what you pay for a unit that you want to just give a look in this is the unit to go to yeah those are my final thoughts on this unit let me know your thoughts on vice unit 8 let me know if you've tried any of the vice unit collection units let's chat in the comments i love talking to y'all thank you again to ebony line for sending me this unit if you need a synthetic wig definitely check out ebonyline.com because you know that they have the the units on Zek, okay? And it's basically like an online beauty supply store, so you can basically get whatever you need from them. Run over there, tell them Courtney Janine sent you. And with that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.